Well hello guys and guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, a couple of games in this episode uh, are annoying for me, but there's an absolute abundance of goals in this for you, so hopefully you will enjoy that. But I just want to touch on a couple of things. Big, big thank you, uh, although we're not there just yet, for 24,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. If we hit that today, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And the other thing that I wasn't even going to mention, I wasn't going to mention the likes from the previous episode, but I've just had a look. And we're over 570 on the last video, guys, which is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for those of you that took the time out to rate the video. You know, it really means a lot to see that you guys are doing that. And that I'm not, you know, pushing it on you anymore. That was um, a lot of the problem people had that I was almost forcing likes. So hopefully, you know, you're, you're enjoying that I don't do that so much. But I just wanted to say a quick thank you for that. But this game... <sighs> It was one of those frustrating ones. In the last episode, this game and the next game were the ones that I was telling you about that were just frustrating me, you know. Um, you get those games. So the other two games in this episode after this one and the next one were actually recorded the day after. Now, eagle-eyed of you will say you lost while you're not upgrading uh, Johan Kabai. Now, uh, I've changed it slightly to make it a bit easier for myself. Um, an inform has to be with the squad for two games before they can be upgraded or downgraded. That just means I'm not then spending 30, 40, 50, 60,000 coins on a player who may only play one game for me and then I have to sell him straight on and possibly lose money. So that's just a little bit easier for me, just a little bit, you know, so I'm not upgrading constantly these informs, but... Yeah, this guy was just better than me on every level. Someone in the previous episode said um, that I complain more about the players than I do, um, you know, my bad defending, which is completely and utterly true. You know, I am not the best defender in the world. I'm not the best player in the world either. I just kind of deal with the cards that I'm dealt, to be honest. But this guy was good. He had a very good team, Cameron Jerome and all, all that jazz. But this goal here... Uh, he misses the free kick, but the volley is phenomenal. Now, I don't know how much he knew about that or whether he just hit shoot, but Garner there with a fantastic... But as I said, my my goal and my aim is to at least score one goal a game. And I scored two. Yes, I lost five, but David James there gets a 9.1 rating and he conceded five goals. So it shows how many saves he did make. But we have to um, do Johan Kabay. Obviously, we lost the second game in a row. Uh, Goy Demel actually got red carded in that game as well. So we bring back Hernandez. We have had the 82 version, but not the 83. So I thought, you know, let's try that. So we bring, or we come up against FC Barcelona here with two uh, Real players, two Barca players. Nicholas Bentner. This is awesome from Bamba that's a centre back doing that I really wish he scored that uh, but he did score as you can see now from the subsequent corner uh, coming off his forehead as well not knowing much about it was was quite funny when I scored that but Hernandez here he his 93 guys is 10 times better than his 92 I cannot stress that enough uh, I wasn't too keen on his 92 but his 93 is just absolutely fantastic but bad goalkeeping again just not getting down quick enough uh, really should do better than that. It's the one player you don't really control, so you would hope that you get some luck, but I, I guess you can't always get luck. Indio here, from a really good angle, scores that goal. Uh, I'm really starting to like Indio. Uh, I think I say his name right. We are obviously getting rid of a lot of the Eredivisie and the Dutch players, um, just to make the, the squad a bit different. You know, I want to mix it up. I want to have different leagues before the end of FIFA 12. For those of you that are asking, I am going to be bringing them back, this back, sorry, in FIFA 13. So if you love the series, I'll be bringing it back. I'll be back to posting daily then as well. The left back, Sol Bamba, and David James gets upgraded as well. Now we have some fantastic signings for you. I'm hoping that you guys like the signings. Uh, we do have at left back Marcio Azevedo, one of the, or you know, a lot of the skillers regard him as the best left back in the game. Five star skills, of course. We get Jason Shackle and another inform in the team. We do go and get Bun, but Marcio Azevedo, 89 in pace as well as fantastic shooting. His defending at 70 is pretty good as well when you think that's that's the last stat they really gave him. But Jason Shackle has got some jumping stats as well, guys. You will love him if you do or if you manage to purchase him. He's really not that expensive. But come up against this guy. He's got Pepe Reina in goal. And this is one of those games where the guy was good but I was bad <laughs> on the same token. Like He shouldn't have scored that goal really but I do go and make it level. And then I just mess up again. I, I spent all that time trying to get back and then I just let you know let my guard down and that's exactly what he did this one is just god awful I've got three defenders around him not one got any tackle I should have just slide tackled him and at least then he would have had to have taken a, a free kick but Indio here smacks it in the top bin thinks no I'm gonna take this game to myself uh, Bentner here makes it 3-3 which is good not even half time and it's 3-3 so I knew this was going to be a very good game but we're not done there guy Indio onto Hernandez 
Uh, nice little step around the guy and then just pummels it in. But this is obviously the last game of the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did and you want to leave a rating, that is absolutely phenomenal. As I said before, 550 in the last episode was absolutely brilliant. So just thank you for your continued support, guys. It really does mean a lot. It's great to see so many new people, so many comments from you guys as well. But we're going to upgrade Chambers and Majeski, and we get some fantastic, fantastic players, guys. We go and get the Cam Fabian. This guy is a beast. And then at centre-back, we do go and get uh, Everett as well. But hopefully you did enjoy the episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoy where the series is going. I've got the next episode already done, so I can bring that soon. But other than that, guys, hope you have a good day. 